Yeah. Look how the diamond bleed off my jet. Fresh in my white teeth. See the progress. I'm a stunner, stunner, stunner. I'm a stunner, stunner, stunner. Gene Deal calls out Diddy's inappropriate relationship with his mom. He treats her like his girlfriend. Now I ain't lying for it. I seen a clip. I don't know if they was in Miami, California, whatever the case may be, fool, but they were sitting outside at a table and they were just like staring into each other's souls and shit. I don't know if he was on Instagram live, but uh bro they kissed each other on the on the lips, bruh, and she was like, Oh yeah, Look so sexual what that Snoop Dogg song called? Sensual was seduction. I'm God fool after bro, he kissed her. Well, they kissed each other on the lip, fool. They were just standing to each other. Ah, fool, I ain't never kissed none of my family on their lip. I don't know about y'all. And I'm from Alabama. I don't even look at my goddamn love of my life like that, fool. We ain't gonna waste no time, though, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Drop down in the comments what y'all want to see next. And let's get it, baby. We don't do incest in Alabama. I don't know why oh my that's... My guy, Gene Deal. Happy to have you back on the platform, man. We got a lot to get into, man. Diddy Mom, she came out defending her son, man. How you feel about that? She made a comment saying that he's not a monster. I guess this is my newfound career, so I'm going to say what on my mind and what I think, brother. First of all, uh, that's his mother. Wrong, right, or indifferent, she going to lie, steal, kill, and protect her child. That's what she's supposed baby? to do. But the apple don't fall far from the tree, man. Kind of you got to realize that. You know, he didn't get all this from his daddy because he didn't know his daddy, even though they try to say his daddy was some big time drug dealer in the whole nine yards. You understand? He didn't get this from his daddy. You got to realize, man, you know, his mother had a modeling agency and it was alleged that it was also um, a cocaine business. Ladies of the night, a prostitution ring too? Oh. Or the, these ladies was doing things other than modeling? I wouldn't be surprised. So the apple don't fall far from the tree. Yeah. So now you got to understand this and looking at her and some of the stuff that he was saying and their relationship has changed since I knew them, since I was around them. You understand? This man was talking about that his mother what? could take her palms and bend over and put them down on the floor. Not bend over, but she could she she could stand straight up and put her palms on the floor, bruh. Like He's saying that about his mother. Who describes any of their mother actions like that in a sexual way? And then, you know. I don't know how many dudes do kiss their mother in their mouth when they 50, 60 years you. old or something like that. That's them. That's their whole thing, man. But that was a little kind of weird for me. And then his mother wore the same white fingernail polish that Cassie described that he liked to see her and other models in when she was describing her loss, her, her, uh, her lawsuit. And what's crazy to me is, is that, man, it seemed like him and his mother had this, I don't want to get too deep, man, this Oedipus complex thing. You know what I mean? And a lot of people are going to say, yo, Oedipus complex. Well, let me just tell you a brief story so you'll know. Oedipus was, it may have been Greek mythology or it was probably Greek mythology or something like that, but it's a story about a uh, 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 a young man that was told that he was going to kill his father and marry his mother. So on the, the way, fuck? this young man had grown up, you know, he didn't know that he was his own person, an orphan, and then was adopted by a family. He thought the family he was with was his mother and father, but it wasn't. So on the way to this town, he gets into an argument with this other man and he kills him. He kills that man. Then he goes into that town. A lady is weeping about her husband being told that her husband was dead and he ended up marrying that lady, which was his mother. So Sigmund Freud came up with this thing about this Oedipus complex about a sexual or a sexual relationship, whether it's physical or mental with a mother and a son. So or dad and I'm daughter. looking at his mother and him on the couch. 
and both of them are getting IVs after one of the Diddy parties. I just, I just allegedly, I'm gonna say allegedly because I wasn't there and I, I didn't know. But they showed the them started. both getting IVs on the couch. That was the example I so was making. So my whole thing about this thing is that I'm not saying that she was ever at a freak off. She was ever at that type of party. But you can't tell me Miss Janice Combs, who was always at the regular parties, didn't know nothing about the freak off parties. She probably be in that big ass flip. This is the same dude, bro, yeah. that <laughs> used to disrespect his mother. So I seen the the love now that they have for each other only on film and camera. Yeah, you know, on, 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 on the YouTube or Instagram or wherever they were showing and stuff like that. But just the same guy that Kirk Burroughs once told me he slapped his mother. And I told everybody, had I known he slapped his mother after I told Kirk Burroughs, Kirk told me after I straightened his ass out for cussing his mama out. His mother came in the limousine and he was on the phone and she said, Yo, why don't you tell these people like that? And he just cussed her clean out like on some, didn't I tell you to stay out my motherfucking business? And I was like, yo, I was shocked. She didn't say nothing. I said to him, I said, yo, boy, let me tell you something. If you ever cuss your mama again, I'm going to beat the shit out you. Shit. You ain't going to bring nothing but bad luck to us treating your mama like that. So I guess he ain't treating his mama like that no more. But... I don't have no qualms in her defending her son. I don't have no qualms in her defending her son. You got to understand that, man. Miss Janice Combs been around for a long time, and she's a trendsetter. Where you think little Kim, Mary J. Blige, and the rest of them get that blonde hair from? She popped up in the club with the blonde hair, the nails, the eyelashes, way before they was doing it. You know, people used to think that she was Lil' Kim mama or Lil' Kim was trying to be her daughter because they used to say they look alike. But I don't have no qualms in her defending her son. That's what she's supposed to do, man. Yeah, for and if, she, and if she didn't, she at least like 75. I would look different at her. Damn. Getting active like that. And, West. you know, like I said, I, I don't blame her, man. Nigga, my seven, you know, I really don't blame her. I, I remember a time like, <laughs> and this is when I stopped working for Diddy, is that uh, we was in the office and she, she used to just come at me and it wasn't in a way in which you do an, a, a person that's there to protect your son. You know what I'm saying? She's just always bothered me for whatever reason. You know, people laugh and joke and say that when I say this back in the day, you know, I'm 6'7", 30 in the waist, handsome in the face. You understand? Hmm. She used to come at me a certain way that it made Puff real mad this particular day. And I don't know what happened. I'm outside the office and, and he got Justin there. She so his, my responsibility him. is him and Justin, nobody else. I don't give a shit what goes on in that office, what happens, stuff like that. My responsibility is him and Justin. That's it. Now, they got interns. They got everybody walking around the office the whole nine yards. She said, yo, Gene, I need you to go to my car. You know, I said, go to your car? She said, yeah, I got some food in my car. I want you to go get it. I said, I'm not here for that. That ain't what I'm, I ain't here for that. I'm not going to get your food. She was like, why? Everybody do what I tell them to do except you. Lunch me? I said, because I don't work for you. I said, I don't work for you. Why are you always ask me when you got all these interns around here to do like that? And Puff must have heard something. Puff came out that door. Why are you always messing with Gene? <laughs> leave Gene alone. He was talking to his mother like this. He was like, yo, leave Gene alone. You always messing with Gene. Stop it. From that, and then he said, yo, Paul, figure something out. I said, he ain't got to figure nothing out. After I finished working for him, I never went back. I never went back. That day? So she was dating young guys back then. So, you know, that's her thing. 
you know, the way she dressed is not age appropriate. And I know yeah. some women going to say, how she supposed to dress? She could dress whatever she wanted to want to. Now, listen to me, man. Nah. I, I, I ain't going to have my mama around my friends or nobody with some come me draws on and talking about, you know, she my mama. I don't give a shit. I ain't gonna be talking about my mama is bending over, putting up palms on the floor with her white fingernails. So listen, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just reminiscing and thinking back, man. Uh, I could see through their whole experiences and what they've done and how they've been towards each other back and forth, this, that, and the third, that her son is right now is in the fight for his life. You understand? But instead of being his friend, she should, or whatever she was or however she was, she should have been a mama and checked his ass when he was doing all that dirty shit and when he was doing all that shit that he was doing and he's being accused for. And that's what it is. Damn. Well, that was something different, fool. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that down in the comments. I'm appalled. I'm astonished. I'm astounded. I'm not even on earth right now. But that's it for this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, man. Drop down in the comments what y'all want to see next. And go stream me and mine out not everywhere. Bye. S-T-A-K-3. See y'all next video, man. Big brr. Look how the diamond bleed off my jet. Fresh in my white teeth. See the progress. I'm a stunner, stunner, stunner. I'm a stunner, stunner, stunner.